Hello Leo, this is your extended reading. Um, yeah, I'm actually really surprised by how this extended reading is uh, developing because uh, straight away when the first card popped in, I felt like, okay, I understand exactly what the first part was all about because the first card that came through to you and this second part was the two of cups right and because we ended the first part with the ace of cups it felt to me like okay clearly a new love relationship is about to enter leo's life right and yes um a love relationship right um but also with this card usually i see you know this meeting of two hearts of two really um uh, aligned and um hearts that are ready to love right to um to surrender to love right is the word that's coming through right now um and i feel like there's still some things that you have to leave behind in order to receive this so to me this entire second part of the reading this extended is telling me that this is still a potential that because you know these new opportunities that are opening up that you will choose very carefully and very consciously you know with your heart and you know which could be this new love relationship in your life um this second part right now the way that is coming through as i'm just uh recording this because as i was shuffling it's it wasn't too clear to me right uh right now this is guidance this whole extended is guidance right if this is what you're expecting if this well not expecting but you know if this is coming your way and it was something that you were already sensing right with your intuition and with synchronicities and you know you know what i mean uh there's still a little bit of uh letting go to do so let's get into it for this to come to life right so the next three cards came together as actually the second row too but so here we have the page of swords the ace of swords and the queen of swords so remember in the first part you came in this limbo position right as this queen of cups in between the five of cups right you know this frustration or deception right and these new opportunities that are heading your way um and here it's almost the opposite it's almost like there is some sort of insight that you are it's almost like there is a knowing that you already have, but you're trying to deny it to yourself, right? Because you're in between these two positions, these two perspectives. The page, was, which is a very juvenile, right? Very childish or very immature uh, character, right? Perhaps, you know, this could play out uh, as you, uh, yeah, so the way that it's coming through right now is like, you know, this uh, becoming an adult, becoming, you know, uh, becoming independent, which actually you came through, right, with this nine of pentacles, but I feel like not, maybe, okay, so, <laughs> perhaps in practical terms in financial terms you are independent you have built your independence right but mentally in your belief systems in your mind in your head in the values that you hold or the values that you live by right you are still you know battling this this maturation process this uh this natural development right this growing process right you know from uh being a children a, a child or uh being not not being a children uh oh my god why did i say that twice 
perhaps you have siblings, right? And you're, you're, you're doing this. Okay. This is, this could be very, very, very specific, but it's just how it's coming through. And I don't know why I said children twice. So perhaps this is something that you do have children, right? And they are growing up and you are witnessing it and you are trying to avoid this situation right you're trying to avoid that your children are growing up and becoming independent you know um in every sense emotionally and uh uh you know mentally and you know thinking for themselves or perhaps this is something that is playing out in your life right you being uh you know a young adult uh having to grow up right having to just uh take responsibility by you know thinking very independently right perhaps you know differently from your family or you know from uh the people that uh that raised you you know what i mean so this clarity will come once you you know once you because here you were in this limbo right this emotional limbo and i feel like mentally you're keeping yourself in this limbo because you're not making this process come to life right or uh just naturally develop but i feel like this is the ultimatum that this judgment is bringing right it's time to grow up it's time to grow up it's time to think for yourself as this queen of swords and actually you you do know that right that's why i feel like here you are just debating with yourself or battling with yourself because perhaps it was you know it, it carried a lot of memories or what i'm getting here is like Perhaps it was easier to to live by uh, the belief systems that you carried throughout your life, right? And now that you're being called, right, with this judgment, you're being called to develop and to just create new thought patterns, right? To see the world through new perspective, which is, you know, something that maybe goes uh, against what the people who have uh, raised you um, think, right? But this is very clear. This is the natural process, right? You becoming mentally um, independent, right? Thinking for your own. And this is, uh, you know, this one of the big things that are shifting or that have that, uh, that have to be dealt with before this comes to fruition, right? And so the other thing that is also coming very straightforward, very directly to me is about your, your stability, right? Because the cards that came through were the three of pentacles, the six of swords, and the five of pentacles. So again, two pentacle cards, and you know, because it was just like this, right? It's a clear way, you know, there is this arrow pointing the way that you have to go. And it's very clear, right? You have to move on. You have uh, to find the courage, you know, to think for your own and because it's going um from the three to a five and you know remember when it was uh in the first part it was like this uh, you know you in the middle in this limbo between the five and the seven right your recent past and your near future right five and seven and here it's the three and the five which, you know, in the very end of uh, the first part, you were still trying to stick to your financial independence, right? To your, uh, 
to whatever was familiar in your daily life, right? To your routine, to your house, whatever it is, to your work, to your job, whatever it is. You were trying to, you know, hold on to it. But here, because, you know, the four is exactly in between, right? We were talking about in between, being in this limbo, in between the three and the five, right? And the three being this very very collaborative process of growing up. It's the way it's coming through, right? You not needing much, but sensing that, you know, collaborating with the right people and perhaps this is the reason, you know, why you felt this frustration, right? Or the sadness, sadness uh, for past connections because you were still learning. It was just this initial phase of this growing up, right? But it's so clear that here, not only you were growing up emotionally, right? Becoming this queen of cups, realizing that you are this queen of cups and realizing now that you are also this queen of swords that can think for yourself, right? And feel for yourself. But you are clearly moving on from whatever attachment you thought you had or whatever dependency, right? Codependency or actually literal attachment to a physical place to a home to people but actually here it's coming through like a workplace or a job or a home right a house or objects you know and this last row is talking about this being this this insight this knowing that you already have that you already carry with you but you're trying to avoid or to postpone it, right? But it's inevitable. You, you are growing up, right? You are maturing. So you have to think for yourself and just remaining in this initial phase, it's just bringing you down. So you have to be the one, you know, because it was like this. You have to be the one who, you know, gets the row and starts to row across the ocean or whatever, uh, just as a metaphor, right? Uh, to achieve this, right? Because it's here, it's pointing straight to the Two of Cups. But you have to move on knowing that is the right thing to do, even though it requires, you know, not giving up, but moving on, right? From this initial phase of, of becoming an adult, of becoming really independent in every sense, right? Not only physically or materially or financially, right? But also mentally, right? And emotionally, because you are more than ready right? So I feel like it's really clear and this extended actually feels very like uh, the whole reading, the whole message from the second part feels like a guidance to you. But the interesting thing is that on the bottom of the deck, the fool came through just emphasizing and confirming to me that you have to take the leap of faith. This is a new chapter that is opening up for you. And, you know, you have to make your part. You have to, you know, you, you are the one who, you know, just hold the hand, hold the power of this next chapter coming to fruition in your hands. Or actually on your foot, on your feet. Right? And you have to just 
step onto this new path, right? With this full card. So it is a really important new beginning that promises, you know, a beautiful connection on the other side. But there is a lot of letting go and just um, taking responsibility by just allowing this natural process of growing up to unfold and to happen, right? Okay, so as a final guidance, let's pull um, from the astrological runes. I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just, I feel like I'm doing this for the first time again because it's been such a long time. And then the last reading, I was not here. So everything was just all over the place. So I'm just getting back to my natural rhythm. So bear with me, okay? I hope, I hope it's being uh, useful or insightful for you. So let's see if the runes have something to add to this. Okay, Mercury. Okay, so the rune that came through was Mercury. And this is just talking, just again, it's talking about this Ace of Swords, which is funny because, okay, so um, we're really uh, close to the end of Mercury retrograde as I record this, right? And it is Mercury retrograde in Libra. And Libra is, you know, the sign of relationships, close relationships, intimate relationships. So, and this Mercury is telling me that you have to speak up for yourself. You have to think for yourself, right? That was the message for you to become this queen of swords, right? And just, just you know, take responsibility for moving on, right? And so here, Communication is really crucial. You have to decide for yourself. You have to think for yourself and you have to speak for yourself. If there is something that you have to speak up, right? Because this is the only way that you can just show that you are really independent, right? That you feel for yourself, that you think for yourself, that you act and that you build for yourself right? And that your life is in your hands. Um, but also what's coming through with this uh, Mercury, what I was seeing today also with this, uh, because before the Queen of Swords uh, come, these two cards uh, were pointing to me, uh, you know, as a very, uh, actually very child, childish uh, image of a Cupid right, with the uh, bow and arrow and striking onto the uh, these two hearts, right, of the two of cups. And uh, the connection to me with this uh, Mercury is that Mercury has, uh, well, in mythology, right, in ancient mythology, the, uh, the character of Mercury had wings on its feet for it to go, like, really fast, right? And so just something that could be very specific also, but the word that is coming through, the, the words are angel wings. So if there is something that you hear that makes sense or that, you know, triggers some sort of insight with these words, perhaps this is a message for you, but, you know, angel wings are coming through this Mercury. And so this is the final guidance for you, Leo, today. Um, yeah, I hope it was, um, uh, it was, uh, I don't know, something that helped you in some way. Um, and that is just this, you know, helpful guidance for whatever next chapter is opening up for you. Okay. So thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.